So you asked how I did this, and um, just real quick here, I did a select color range, clicked on her forehead here to get the brightest parts of her skin, uh, which also made me get this back part, um, and I'll take care of that in a moment. And I changed the fuzziness to around 90. Um, and then I went into uh, my lasso selection tool, choose subtract, and subtract it out that background. And so now if I look at the quick mask, it's just her skin, there's no background chosen. And then I did a color balance adjustment layer and I did like a minus 14, can't remember, uh, 24, plus 24, minus 46, I believe, which I cannot seem to hit, let's see, yeah, minus 46. to warm her skin up. That doesn't look right. Oh, because that's a minus. Minus 24. There we go. To warm her skin up. Then I did um, an apply image. Merged. Blending mode's normal. Or you could do control alt shift E to get that new layer. And that just merges everything below and puts it all on a new layer together. And then I did a smart sharpen. And these were my settings. You can pause the video and look at the settings. And then I didn't think that was enough, so I just repeated it. And that, I thought, brought out the highlights in her hair. It got rid of some of that fuzziness in her eyes. Let me zoom in. It's still a little fuzzy, but put some sharpness on her lashes, and it definitely brought out some highlights in her curls um, that you might want to play with. Of course, that's 215%. You don't see it that big anyway. But... Um, Anyway, that's how I did it. Um, I hope this is helpful. You can play with your settings and get the colors you like. That's just a really quick uh, attempt at it.